Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Delirium League 3.10. So in this episode, I craft this Citrine Amulet for increased strength and plus one zombies. It's a Awakener Orb combination, so it's a Warlord Elder Double Influenced Amulet to follow up the Double Influenced Baron. You gotta go one after another, so I'll show you guys how to craft this for yourself and uh, explain how it's better than the Astromantis and how it's just an automatic upgrade for your build pretty much. Uh, okay, so now it's time for a semi-complicated part, so I'll leave a link to these in the description below, uh, and I'll label them, but basically there's two options of doing the Awaken Orb crafting, so I'll start off here with, uh, you search up, so the first option is a Citroen Amulet, 82 is the item level I recommend, and you would go Warlord, so this will be the one that you uses the base like the real base and then the other amulet you would buy is an elder 68 plus amulet that's it because 68 to roll the zombie and it's 75 to roll warlord so this is 82 you're fine the 82 is so you can roll max tier one strength um in case it's just in case you get lucky and then you saw they're very cheap if you do it this way and this is in case the price goes up uh, i'm trying to cover people for multiple options so now here's the other option. Instead of the 82 Citroen Warlord, you can do 82 Citroen Elder. So then it, you have the other side, but this is your base now. It'll still work out the same at the end, and this is only 2 and 3C, so it's cheaper. Wow, I saved you money. And then you can go Amulet 75 Warlord, and this is 1C as well. So this combination is cheaper than this combination. So that's what I recommend because I guess there's more Elder 82s and 83s in the game than there is Warlord of the Citroen Amulet. So that's what I would recommend. And then, yeah, so in this one, you would break the shitty amulet and put and break it, put it onto the Citroen with the Awakener Orb, uh, like I show in the video. Yes! <gasps> wow, that, that's Awaken or Orb, Destroy the Zombie, Add it to the Strength. 36 Fire Res, 4 Life Gain on Kill. Is that two suffixes? It's not even bad. Alright, now the part of the video where you what you all have been waiting for. So how is this amulet better than an astromantis i'll give you the explanation so imagine the astromantis is giving you uh 120 strength the we're making up for it with the um implicit on this one with the strength index which uh this combination is a lot of stats for for our build that we need we don't need intelligence and then increased strength uh, percentage is amazing in our flat strength build it's pretty efficient so then uh it i like the percent strength a lot more than uh, flat in a lot of cases but anyways uh we also get so we get our strength basically back from this amulet and then uh, we gain some decks and we don't actually have to have the intelligence or the decks from the astromantis so what we're seeing here is that uh you if you don't run phase run you don't have the high decks requirement and then you 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 switching out of the astromantis is just a direct upgrade so we were able to gain get ready for this just for this ami which is pretty much almost guaranteed the extra zombie is guaranteed okay and now you'll get randomness where you're going to get different stuff than me. So I got fire res in this case, which honestly, dude, it's not that bad. It got me my fire res, so then I didn't have to get the fire res from the ring. And then I was able to get better ring with intelligence and strength and, and life and stuff. You know, it's pretty good. So the other thing is uh, it had an open prefix and I could craft life. So this is life, fire res, and a zombie over the astromantis. Uh, is this an upgrade? Yeah, I think so. 
was it that expensive? It was an Awakener Orb and uh, six, seven hundred alterations and the the two bases. The bases weren't expensive. Um, and then obviously we allocated Death Attunement. Um, this is pretty nice of an upgrade and I highly recommend it. And uh, now that Awaken Orb's been going down a bit, yes, you should definitely be using this in your build if you haven't already. Um, this is a pretty cheap upgrade. It gets you an extra zombie, so that's like 9% more damage. Cause it's, and it's an extra body. Like It's not only an extra damage boost, it's a whole extra minion which is like more coverage, more consistency. It's really good. You want it. Uh, more body blocking. <laughs> uh, it's really good. Uh, yes. Now, so I'll tell you when I was working with the build this morning, uh, looking at the AMI and all this stuff, um, part of it, I, though I, the dex is awkward. I can I'd allocate one dex node and I'll be fine to run phase run, but I'm currently not having room. So I'll explain this in a further, in a future video more, but I'm reworking the build to uh, basically abuse the shit out of this season. So I'll give you a quick run through. Pride, Flesh and Stone, Mame, Purity of Elements, and Light. And so it's a five link aura setup with another two link aura setup. Dread Banner and Awakened Generosity. So we have, si we have five auras and we still have Aspect of the Avian in the build. And it's using a bunch of reduced mana jewels, which is really obnoxious, by the way. So one, two, three, four. It's ridiculous, dude. So we do all that just so we can run a billion auras. And then on top of that, I took out Feeding Frenzy from the zombie. So we have Awakened Brutality. I put Feeding Frenzy on my Stone Golem. And I Meat Shielded my AG and my Spectres. It's so weird, dude. I also took out the Taunt Jewel and the Dread March, and I'm using Indomitable Army. Where this is going to end up, I don't know, but I've also done this new thing. Um, this is the most life with the most res with the most physical damage reduction that I could get in the build. So I'm getting the most mitigation that I've done recently while also still having the endurance charges. And it's the most damage I've ever done in the build. So it seems like I've done something right. I'm, I just need more life. Like, that's, that's the only thing where I'm like, damn, dude. Because my damage is higher than ever. My tankiness my armor like it's just life now so we actually almost have and it may be minion survivability which i still have to look at which is why pushing the damage and pushing all these other categories up will then allow me to pull back on them to get minion survivability if indomitable army and shit isn't enough which i think that just a better basically with all this new damage a different elegant hubris with maybe some life that might uh be the the balance situation just a 160 160 a 240 160 i don't know something like that unkillable minions uh yeah all right i just want to throw that in there just to run through the the stuff i still have holy relic still the chasm damage taken set up or i swap in the cyclone set up cyclone Awakened, Castle Channeling, Desecrate, Bone Offering as an active playstyle. AFK is Cast from Damage Taken, Empower, Desecrate, Bone Offering. There you go. Oh, and viewers keep asking me recently what my pantheons are, so I'll include in the video. And then, uh, yeah. Lunaris, fully decked out, and we've been using Tuko Hama when we're doing blight because you are stationary so a free eight percent physical damage reduction and two percent life regen this is the best thing i could possibly think of for blight to just like abuse and try to see how much this physical damage reduction was going to make a difference and just trying it you will feel the difference we go up to like 45 50 50 percent physical damage reduction when all the monsters are near us and attacking us and uh without feeding frenzy they're near us more often and uh and they're hitting us and they're stacking up the endurance 
from hitting us and shit if you i don't know we'll have to play with this and i'll come back with a build guide probably because this is it i think uh i think this is it dude but either way uh hope you guys have enjoyed the video hope this could be informative hope you could learn anything um hope now you can craft the ME for yourself and maybe i've given you some inspiration before i make the actual video so anyone who stayed to the last part of the video and is following the build and wants some advice i i just just quick test guys feeding frenzy over here just for the damage boost not for the aggression the Awakened Brutality on the Zombies seems fucking broken. The Five Link Flesh and Stone with the Reduction is really hard to set up, but it's really OP. We're doing so much damage, and the enemy's insane. So just, if you guys are listening, you should probably... Yep. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for all the support on Patreon and the YouTube members. I uh, couldn't do this without you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you to my Twitch subs as well, and I'll see you guys in the stream today.